Okay, so uh, this is uh, video number four in my four-part series uh, that's going to culminate in some uh, barbecue chicken today. Um, I'm going to make some homemade ranch dressing, really uh, just to, uh, to throw together a salad with the uh, barbecue chicken, uh, but I thought it'd be good to have uh, uh, some homemade ranch. I've never actually made homemade ranch before. Uh, no, nothing too complicated, um, so it shouldn't be a big deal. A um, couple of things. One thing I'm going to do before I get started, I have some uh, garlic powder, some onion powder, a little sugar, some MSG, and some salt in this dish, just all in one dish. And I'm going to take a couple of tablespoons of vinegar. And by the way, all of the measurements will be... Uh, um, in the uh, description, I'll put the whole recipe. I've got a couple of tablespoons of white vinegar. I'm just gonna pour in there and let it start kind of dissolving and breaking down some of those spices. In fact, I'm gonna get a spoon real quick or a fork and then just mix it a little bit. It's not a lot of vinegar for all of that stuff, but it'll help kind of break it down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get that in and, and mix it around. Um, I'm gonna work on the consistency first. So I've got uh, about three quarters cup of buttermilk here. I'm just gonna pour that in. I'm not quite gonna use the whole thing, but I have a feeling I will end up using the whole thing. Uh, this is gonna be a, a dressing, so I do want it runny and liquidy, not really a dip. So just gonna get that mixed in there. Oh, <laughs> I should have also said, I started out with uh, mayonnaise and sour cream. Again, measurements will be in the description. So that's coming together nicely. Definitely gonna add the rest of the buttermilk here. Here we go. So now I'll go ahead and add my spices that I added the vinegar to. Just get that in there, try to spread them out a little. If you're an anti-MSG person, feel free to leave it out. I happen to think you're crazy, but you do you. There we go. And now we'll get those blended in. And now we've got our herbs. So I have a quarter cup each of chives, parsley, and dill. So I'm just gonna start adding these in, no particular order, it doesn't really matter, at least as far as I'm concerned. And those are uh, fresh and finely chopped. Parsley. And the chives. All right, the one thing that I didn't have out that I want to add is I wanna make sure and add some black pepper. This is just, it's not fresh cracked, but I'm not worried about it for this. Plus it's a little bit milder, which I think will be fine for this. So there we go. There's our homemade ranch dressing. I'm gonna grab a spoon. The only thing I might be prepared to add is a little more salt, but we'll see. I don't even think it needs more salt. That is really good. All right, part four of this four part series. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, next step is gonna be the chicken. So uh, we'll bring you back. I guess we won't bring you back. You'll see the next video. 
Hey, thanks for sticking around even though I ended the video, I forgot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little barbecue ranch with this homemade ranch. I'm gonna use this uh, Chipotle barbecue sauce that was in one of the previous videos. It's what I'm gonna use on the uh, chicken today. So I'm just gonna take my tasting spoon here and just add, yeah, let's go two tablespoons. I'm so making this up right now. Really not exactly sure how much to add, but I don't think it matters that much. So we'll just get it mixed around. After I put the lid on this, I'll probably shake it really well. But for now, we'll just give this a try. So this is our homemade ranch with our homemade Chipotle barbecue sauce for a salad to go with the barbecue chicken. Might add just a little bit more. That's gonna be good. So thanks for sticking around. And uh, we'll see you when we do the barbecue chicken in the next video.